Do you think that those women wanted to have sex with your prophet and these men after after they've been taken captive from their land and stolen from their husband? Do you think that's acceptable? What does captive have mean? respect for him. What does captive mean? What, what, what do you mean? What's captive? Mean? Okay, so we don't know what captive means. So hold on, I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. I don't want to shout. I want, I want to be honest with you. I want to ask you a question. I'm going to shout, yeah? Well, how would you like it if I went to your mother's house, yeah? I went to your mother's house, I took her captive and I raped her. Can how I would you like it if I, I took her captive and I had sex What's your religion? What's she's, your religion? She's married, isn't she? No, no, one minute, one minute. Let's have a decent conversation, all right? Is your mother married? I want to ask you that question. Answer my question. Just answer my question. Is your mother married? So your mother's married, right? How would you like it if I went to her and I literally took her from her home and I had sex with her. Do you think she'll be okay with it? Do you think she'll accept it? Then you'll be arrested by the law in the country. No. Then you'll be arrested by the law in the but, country. But hold on. Your prophet did those same things, as I've just read to you. Your prophet couldn't have these. No, 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 no. He accepted his own men going out and raping women. Right? First of all, this practice... And that's what they did. The practice in general of having right. intercourse with slaves <clears throat> was a commonplace thing. And the group women are taken as captive after battle. Sexual relations between a master and a slave is not was not new then. It wasn't a shock or a surprise. Right. All that verse does is to say that if you were to have sex with your captive, that wouldn't be adultery. Okay, the verse doesn't say that at all. The verse doesn't say that at all. Let's be let's be honest to the text. The verse says they went out to take women captive, right? So they went into other people's homes, and these were married men, married women, and married men. And they took the married women and they went and had sex with them. The married women themselves had no consent in this because they were already married. So this is rape. When they become captive, their marriage, their marriage with their previous spouses is no longer recognised. By what? By them or by or by? But what? But it doesn't matter about example. I'm talking about example. So you're saying what you're saying is it's okay to take captive women and rape them because it's acceptable by Islamic law. There's no indication. Did they did they agree to that though? Did they agree to that? Show me from the verse where it says they agreed to it. Did they agree to it? Show me the verse where it says Muslims. Show me the verse where it says. What do you believe in terms of rape? Did they agree? Did they agree to it? Did they agree? Did the women that were taken captive? agree to be taken captive and sleeping with other men? Or did they already have husbands they were already sleeping with? No, I think majority of them did not have, already have husbands. Not, all of them it says that the verse said they didn't have husbands. husbands. Okay, do you want me to read it out to you again? I'll read it out to you again. I'll read it out to you again. So it's, it's from Sayyid al Bukhari, it's from Sunni al Dawah with their hadith. No, he quoted a verse from the Quran. Can I ask, what do you says, believe in? What do you believe in now? Yeah, yeah so I was actually what showing you from the verse. What do you believe? What do you, do you believe in God? Do you believe in God first of all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You believe in God. Okay, so I'm going to read out again and I'm going to read out slower so you understand what I'm saying. All right? So no, 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 let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me read out the verse, then you can make your point. Is, is that all right? Is that all right? Let me, let me read out the verse. Right. So Sunan Abi Dawood, 2155. Abu Said al Qudri said, the Apostle of Allah sent a military expedition to Artaz on the occasion of the Battle of Hunayn. They met their enemy and fought with them. So they met their enemy and fought with them, so they killed people, right? They defeated them and took them captives. Some of the companions of the Apostle of Allah were reluctant to have relations with the female captives. So they didn't want to have, they didn't want to have sex with the female captives, right? Rightly, they, rightly so. Why would they want to have sex with people they just stolen from their lands, right? Relations with their female captives. Because of their pagan husbands. Because of their pagan husbands. Because of their pagan They already had husbands. So these were married women that had taken captives. All right, let's, let's continue. Let's read on. So Allah the Exalted sent down the Quranic verse, and all married women are forbidden unto you, save those who are captives. So save those who are captive, they can be married or unmarried. You can still take them and you can rape them, have sex with them. As long as they're captive, it's fine. And so what, what, what I'm trying to ask you is, yeah, is basically this. Do you think that those women wanted to have sex with your prophet and these men after, after they've been taken captive from their land and stolen from their husband? Do you think that's acceptable? I don't know. What, about, what, about, what, about no what do you mean you don't know? There's no indication as to whether they were willing, I mean, what, willing. What do you mean you don't, you, you don't know? Would it be okay if I went to your mother's house, yeah? You said your mother was married. Well, you know, one minute. How do you know? how do you know? how would it be okay for me right to go to your mother's house? You know right would you? Would it be able to get me for me? Okay, to go to your mother's house to sleep with her after taking a cat rib. There's a law in the country. You'll be doing jail. Oh, it wouldn't be wrong. But it's okay for your prophet to do it. So it's okay for your prophet to do it. 
But it's wrong for me to do it to your mother. Who says it took place Even right after the battle like that? Obviously, I no. mean, come on. I answered your question. I answered your question already. That's his rape, bro. What I'm saying is, it's his rape. Bro. This verse was. It's going against Muhammad. The verse is just teaching them that once they come under your captivity, that their marriage with their previous spouses does is is no longer valid because they're, they're under your control. Right. They're under your captivity. Okay. Yeah. Did, and so it's saying if they were to have yeah. sex with those captives, yeah. that that wouldn't be adultery because yeah. some of the companions were married themselves. It says, except you whom your right hand. Um, the verse says, uh, what did you say? Sorry, I just started. There's and no anybody blame, right hand. There's no blame upon yeah. you yeah. if you have committed sexual acts with people. Except those who. In its, basically, in addition to your wife. So, okay so, so bearing in mind, bearing in mind. Is, well, the, the point I'm trying to make. Is that it's not a sin. Yeah, right, right, right. You're saying it's not a sin. But the point I'm trying to make is these were married women. They were not, they, they were already betrothed to people, and your prophet's men had slept with them. That they're taking them captive. So they, it wasn't it wasn't something of their free will. They didn't have the choice to be taken captive. They were taken captive and they were taken from their homes and they were they were sold to other men. This is rape according to any modern standard, according to any standard. This is rape. It's, it's rape if, if it was to happen right away, like after right after the battle. They were to in, instantly have straight away with these captives, straight off war. That obviously that would more like be rape, but it doesn't, who used to say that it happened right away? What if they, they kept him captive? After some time, it becomes sort of a relationship between, between the master and the captives. Right, but exactly here's the thing. Let's not read beyond the verse. No, no. Let's not read beyond the no, verse. We're no, reading no, no, no. what it is. Yeah? And the verse is saying they took them captive and they at that time, at that time, they were horny and they wanted to have sex. And because they were horny, they decided we want to take them captive. We don't have sex with them. They were married. They were married to husbands already. So they were already married. You understand? These were married women, and they wanted. They didn't want to have sex. They did not want to have sex with any Arab Bedouin. They didn't want that. Instead of leaving them behind, they also take, take them in. They also take care of these. Well, one at a time. You know, at least have patience for your guy. I know you're not getting a rinse, but I don't care. Yeah, I know. I know. Like, uh, like at least have some respect for your brother. But you're not bringing any points. He's on his side. All right. So have respect for him. Have respect for him. What does captive mean? What do you mean? What does Okay, so we don't know what captive means. What it means? Captive means. One minute. Captive means that literally taking somebody from their yard. Yeah. are taking him home and raping him. That's no, what no, your prophet no, did. No, no. Your prophet has men, rape women and children. What school did you go to? Yes. So how does captive oh, mean rape? A captive means going to someone's house and taking him. Right? This verse is saying, they're saying that they wanted to have sex with women. Right? So what they did is they, they took them, yeah, and because they wanted to have sex with them, they didn't slept with them. How do you know that they weren't afraid of having sex because they thought it would have been a sin? They would have been, you know, to have sex with this servant. No, because they had taken them captive. Imagine, I go into your mother's house, yeah, and I go and take her captive, right? But I'm afraid. I don't know whether it's right or wrong for me to have sex with her after I've taken her captive, right? After I've taken her captive, I'm scared about it. I'm, so I'm, I'm worried about it. But I decided to do it anyway. That is right, because your mother did not tell me I have the right to have sex with her. Neither did these captives say it was right to have sex with them. Maybe something more specific. Maybe saying they weren't willing. That's something else. So, so hold on, hold on, hold on. I want you to use your logic. Use your logic. As I just said, if I went to your mother's house and I took her, right, and I took her from her home, would she be okay to have sex with me? That's not the point. Would it be acceptable? Would you agree with it? Who said that? No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't agree with it. So why do you give your prophet doing it then? Your, why did you get your prophet doing it? Wasn't, it wasn't in that manner. It wasn't in that manner. <laughs> <laughs> they could have left them, could have deserted them, they could have killed them. These are the enemy captives. Right. And, right. Oh, okay. okay. So, so it's a case away women as long as they're part of the enemy captives? Uh, yes, because a lot of them were. Oh, 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 okay. Said, We've got here first. It's literally okay to wait women as long as they're part no, of the no, enemy no, captives. No, no, this is why their prophet is a jihadi and a terrorist and he should be. Literally, literally, you lot have got nothing to say. Do not, listen, Muslims, do not say anything about the Canaanites, do not say anything about the Malachites, sort out your own religion. Because right now you're telling me it's okay to rape women. This is nothing about rape. I mean, come on, bro. This is absolutely disgusting. 
What do you mean it's not fornication? I mean, I mean that's nice. I mean that's your opinion. I mean, yeah. Anyway, bro, fire, wrap up, bro. What happened there, bro? Anyway, at the end of the day, I'll just try and um, the Muslims was from the hadiths. I think it's, it's best too. I think if you're going to follow that religion, you need to really study what you believe in because, to be honest, sorry, sorry. You need to study what you believe in because, to be honest, there is a lot of evil hadiths, and I can show tons of them. If if you as Muslims want to attack the Canaanites, the Amalekites, the whole the whole things in the Old Testament. Look at your hadiths, look at the fact that your prophet raped women, he killed women and children, he attacked Jews and he literally enslaved black people. Look at those things before you ever attack the Christian religion. Do not come to me or anybody or any other Christian in this park and tell them about their religion until you sort out yours. God bless.